So my startup is uh, is about our, we have our own blockchain technology. It's called Ardor. Um, Ardor has some unique properties that that uh, any any other blockchain does not have. Um, the main solution we are able to solve is what is called the blockchain bloat. I mean, did you know that my Wikipedia donation from uh, 2004 for $3 is still stored in the Bitcoin blockchain? Um, it will be stored there forever because there is no way to get it out of it. It doesn't matter to me, it doesn't matter to you and not to Wikipedia and not to anyone, but every new node that joins the blockchain has to re-download and re-validate it and it will continue to exist forever. So with Ardor, we have a unique proposition. What we did, we separated the blockchain into a parent and child chain architecture. Only transactions on the parent uh, blockchain are actually participating in the consensus. But this is only a very small proportion of the transactions. All the transactions related to what is called the smart contracts, the applications, the asset exchange, the voting, the marketplace, these are stored on the child chains and transactions on the child chains can be pruned, pruned like, and removed from the blockchain. So we only keep a cryptographic uh, proof that they ever existed. So a new node joining the Ardor blockchain only needs to download the last 24 hours of transactions from all child chains. Um, and this means that the size of the blockchain is now manageable. It doesn't grow linearly forever. Like, uh, like, with our, uh, like with other blockchains. Um, in addition, the architecture of parent-child chains provides some very uh, interesting applications. For example, you can have a child chain focused on a specific use case, and your users does not even need to know that they are dealing with blockchain, because you can pay the transaction fees for them, you can manage the blockchain for them, they only enjoy the benefits of using a blockchain. And this is in contrast to most other blockchain, public blockchain solutions that ask you to pay uh, to manage your transactions in one token and sometimes pay the transaction fees in other token. So, so this is a very interesting application. Um, so, so we are, we are looking to deploy Ardor to production. It's currently on testnet. We're looking to deploy it to production in several months. Uh, currently undergoing a lot of testing and uh, validation that everything works properly. Um, meanwhile, Gelorida, all, we also found that our unique blockchain technology is very, very well suited for corporate environment. This is because we use a mechanism called proof of stake which unlike proof of work that requires miners and competition, in proof of stake, you actually uh, distribute the validation power of nodes based on your stake in the network. And this is ideal for corporate environment because it allows you to run on very small hardware like even Raspberry Pi computers. Um, it, it does not require competition. You can actually decide in advance what, the, what power each participant in the blockchain will receive and thereby control the power of validation that each uh, participant has. Um, so um, I'm, here, uh, I'm here with, uh, with Accenture. We, are, uh, we, we, we showed a demo about uh, decentralized voting application for shareholder meetings, which, uh, which I recommend everyone to, to watch. <laughs>